Welcome back to the workshop. Today we're going to show you how to make your wheels tubeless. Remember to hit that like and subscribe to see all future videos. To start with we're going to move the tyre off the rim and remove the inner tube. Let the air out of the inner tube. And remove the tyre. Flip the tyre over, get the tyre off the bead on this side. Once you've got the tyre and inner tube out, you need to determine whether you've got tubeless tape already fitted. To do this, just see if the band inside is stuck. If it's not stuck, then it's not tubeless tape. If it's not stuck like this one isn't, then you need to remove it. To determine what size rim tape you need, you need to measure the inside diameter of the rim. You need to add a few millimetres onto this measurement. This is so that the tape can go right down into the well and still be wide enough to reach the flats. That way it seals correctly. The Muckoff Ultimate Tubeless Setup Kit comes with everything you need to go tubeless. In the box you get two pouches of sealant, pack of black valves and 10 metres of rim tape. First thing we're going to do is degrease the rim to enable the tape to stick a bit better with some uh, quick drying degreaser. Next we're going to cut our tape at an angle so it sticks a bit better. We're then going to start between two spoke holes and push it in the centre of the well and go all the way around the rim. So once you've gone around the wheel at least twice, cut the tape off at an angle. Put it right down. Once you fit the tape and pushed it down all the way around, find the valve hole. And using the podger, push through to make the hole for the valve. Push the valve into the hole, screw the lock nut on the top, Put 
So the lock nut only needs to be tight enough to create a seal. It doesn't need to be over tightened. To push it through with your thumb, wind it down. Now that I've installed and tightened the valve, I'm going to fit and inflate the tyre to seat it on the bead. Doing this before adding the sealant enables you to check that the valve and the rim tank are sealing correctly and don't have any leaks. One of the advantages of the muck-off valve is that it has a removable valve core. This means that once the tyre is seated, I can install the sealant through the valve, making the whole job a lot less messy. The tyre can be seated with a hand pump, however this isn't always possible so you may need to use a compressor or a CO2 canister. I'm going to remove the valve core using the valve core removal tool that comes with the valve set and it's one of the dust caps. So I'm going to unscrew the valve. And take out the core. Next I'm going to turn the wheel up the other way to the valves at the top. Give the tube of sealant a good shake. Undo the cap. Place it over the valve before turning the wheel up the other way. These are 29 inch wheels, so I'll empty the whole sachet 140 mil. It does tell you on the back how much to put in for your wheel size. Once the whole sachet is empty, slowly turn it back round to allow the fluid to run inside the tyre. Remove the pouch. Screw the valve coil back in. Tighten using the valve coil tool on top of the dust cap. No need to over tighten it, just nip it in. Once inflated, have the wheel at a slight angle and slowly turn it so the fluid runs over where the bead seats onto the wheel. Go all the way around on one side, then flip it over and do the same again. So that's how you make a wheel tubeless, you just need to do exactly the same with the other wheel. A link to the Muckoff Ultimate Tubeless Kit I used can be found in the description. Remember to hit like and subscribe to see all future videos.